Hi everyone, so we're on the third lesson now of the pack, and it's all about non-uniform acceleration. So it's using calculus. So it's really, really nice, because you're just integrating each direction or differentiating each direction. So if I started with the position vector and differentiated it, my velocity would be d by dt of r. If I differentiate my velocity vector, so d by dt, it gives me the acceleration, and that would be a v. Or differentiating my position vector twice. In a similar vein, if I started off with my acceleration, should we say that's some function of time? So an acceleration which is some function of time, if I integrate it, my velocity is the integral of the acceleration dt. But don't forget you'll have a plus c. Well, that plus c is actually a vector. And then if I integrate my velocity dt, that gives me the r value. And once again, that'll be a different plus c, but that'll be a vector. Now, the pack does it weirdly with the vectors. I tend to put a vector on each bit, but they don't. Do, 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 they do not. There you go. Look, so they split it as different directions. So it's all fine. It's all good. Right, so then it says a particle is moving in a vertical plane so that at time two seconds it has a velocity v, where v is 8 plus 2t i t cubed minus 6t. Now, if you look, the big difference here is that it's in terms of time, so it's got t's in it, got t in it, which means it varies with time, so we kind of know that the it's one to use calculus with, instead of it just being 8 plus, or 8i minus 6j, so. So that's given us a big hint. If he's got t in it, then we want to do some calculus. So we're going to find the acceleration. So we know that the acceleration is d by dt of v. Right now then, all I'm going to do, is if I know that my velocity is 8 plus 2t and t cubed minus 6t. I'm just going to differentiate each line. So my, that should be an a, that should be, yeah, no, that's my v, sorry. So my acceleration, if I differentiate 8 plus 2t with respect to t, it's just 2. If I differentiate t cubed minus 6t, it's 3t squared minus 6. And that's my acceleration done. Job, job. Part B says, show that the position vector of a particle when t is 4, uh, oh, sorry, just remember from t is 4, is that. Right, okay. So let's have a look then. So part B, I'm looking at a position vector. So R is an integral of v dt. So I'm going to be careful how I do this. So I'm integrating 8 plus 2t and t cubed minus 6t. So this will show when you're sat in class now, um, or when you're sat in class, look at the person next to you and see if they've got a plus c at the end or they've got uh, little constants within it because I'm going to put a constant in each one. So my r is, so it's going to be 8t plus t squared plus a constant for the i direction. Then I'm going to have a quarter of t to the 4, so it'd be minus 6t squared over 2, so minus 3t squared plus c2. The completed pack puts a constant at the end. So let's see, have a look at the person next to you in class, see if they've used my videos or copied off the completed pack. Now I've got to find my c value, and it tells you when t is 2, the position vector is 10, 3. So for t is 2, r is 10, 3. So let's have a look at the top line. 10 is 8 lots of 2 plus 2 squared plus c1. So 10 is, so what have I got? So I've got 16 plus 4 is 20. That's C1. So C1 is minus 10. Let's look at the bottom line.